All right, what is going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Ooh, tonight we are installing the Torque Solutions short shifter in the BRZ. Uh, it should be a good one. I'm excited to get this in to really get those nice crisp throws. We also have the bushing that came with it, but I'm not gonna swap out the bushing until I go under the car to swap out the fluid, which should be sometime next week. Now, I wasn't planning on shooting this video tonight because this is the same day that we did the radium master cylinder brace, um, but my interior is completely torn out of the car right now. So you remember remember that mystery red wire that we found a couple days ago, this one? Who does that? That's like a cigarette lighter plugged into it, and then you got this random red wire? What is happening? Yeah, so uh, I wanted I wanted to get the wire out, and then the next thing I know, the whole inside of the car is outside of the car. So I put a, I put most of it back in, but I, I started just doing all these things. So we got rid of all the unnecessary wiring. We rewired the fog lights. We took off that carbon fiber wrap crap on the inside of the car. Uh, I took the mud flaps off the car earlier. I fixed all the loose paneling in the trunk. I retightened the e-brake, and I I think that's I think that's what we did today. So six things just getting up to par. I do want to show you guys all of this wiring that I pulled out of the car because some of it it's, it's I'm not I'm not trying to hate on the person that had the car before me, but it is by far the the it's not good wiring. So with that, I want to show you guys this wiring. I want to show you guys the way that I rewired the fog lights. Uh, and then we'll jump into the install for the Torque Solution short shifter. Uh, we're also going to do a POV at the end of the video, so, uh, that point of view driving, just to see how it feels. So I am excited to be able to get the camera back in the car and go drive around a little bit, uh, get out of the garage too. So with that, I want to show you guys this wiring, these fog lights, and then we'll jump into the car and start installing this short shifter. All right, to show you guys all the wiring, I pulled out five different wiring harnesses in this car. So this is the this was the mystery wire that started everything, and this, like, I don't understand this. This dude took a cigarette lighter, put a T-tap in it, spliced it to some stereo wire, have like, it has like two more taps going off of it. Um, so I don't quite understand what was happening there. There was this other, like, weird radio harness that I don't understand. I don't know what this was for. Like, I don't understand. This didn't, it didn't even plug into anything. These two ends were plugged into the radio. This was cut off. And then this red wire was cut off also. So I don't know why this was even in there. Uh, so that's two out of the five. Uh, the next one was all of this excess fog light wiring harness. So I'll show you guys how I rewired these fog lights, but uh, both of these are fog light wiring harnesses. This one, this, hold up, this was the magical red wire. This was it. It was ran to the T-tap off of this weird cigarette connector, going to this weird stereo wiring, going to this weird button. Don't understand what was happening there. Um, I unplugged it, the fog light stopped working, so we're gonna throw that away. This was the other half that I don't quite understand either. He had it going to power. There was no ground coming off of this either, which I thought was a little weird. Uh, so I ended up cutting it. I just used the connecting harnesses off of it. And then I also found all this random speaker wire, not even going to anything. Um, garbage, there was, there's no subs or anything in the car, so garbage. So look at this just massive pile of Bah! Bah! Don't need it. So it's gone. So now, um, just to kind of show you guys how I rewired these. So on the BRZs, you have this like interesting little like fender light in there. So I took the fender light wiring harness. I soldered on the connections from that weird wiring harness and I made a plug and play adapter for the fog lights. So when we go to turn our running lights on, now our fog lights are wired into our running lights, so I am perfectly happy with this. I do not need the fog lights to be independently wired. Um, this works out perfect. And then when I go to turn my headlights on, obviously all the lights would be on, but this is 100% better. It simplified absolutely everything um, and got rid of this 20 pounds of wires, which, ugh. And then as you, well, you can't really see right now, my ISO is pretty far down, but the whole inside of the car is torn apart. Um, so with that, I did just want to recap on that stuff with you guys. But anyways, now we are going to jump into the car. Um, actually, we'll throw the camera up here on the bench and then we'll go over the Torque Solution short shifter, uh, what you need 
and uh, start installing it in the car. All right, so overall, there's not many tools you need for this install. Um, I already tore out the inside of the car when I was looking for mystery wires, so uh, if you don't know how to tear apart the in inside of your car, you're gonna start by pulling out that shifter trim and then that whole center console piece, and it's just a couple of Phillips head screws. Um, so with that, you're gonna need a Phillips head screwdriver. You're also gonna need a 10 millimeter because some of those bolts are 10 millimeters. Um, I think we need a 12, I'm not sure yet. Once we get in there, we'll find out, but we may need a 12 millimeter as well to pull off the plate for the, uh, the short shifter. And then uh, the actual torque solution shift, short shifter, we've got some grease to lube up our balls because we, we gotta have some greasy balls. Uh, we also have the rear shifter bushing uh, with the hardware, but like I said, we are not gonna be putting this in quite yet. We're gonna wait until we go under the car anyways to uh, drain that transmission flute or that gear oil and the transmission and the rear differential. So I'm gonna save these for a rainy day and just set them off to the side for now. Uh, but overall, the actual Torque Solution short shifter, I like this one a lot better than the one that's in the car. I don't even know if the one in the car is an OEM one, uh, but something that I just was not a fan of with it was that pair and reverse lockout on the on the other one, and we'll go over that. But overall, it's gonna be relatively easy. This is gonna bolt right in. Our plate's gonna bolt down to keep the short shifter in place. And then there's this one ball on the bottom side where a rod comes through it and then a locking pin. So with that, we're just gonna jump in the car, start installing this and uh, see how much better it actually is and then we'll go uh, drive the car around and see if it feels any better so just to catch some of you guys up to speed here a little bit this is this is pretty much everything we've taken out right now so we have the shift knob off we've got uh, the small under tray down here off i know it's dark and you can't really see it and then we've got the whole center console piece out so the center console piece there's just uh two 10 millimeter bolts back here there's two Phillips heads here, and then there's two more right up in there. And then with that, the whole thing just pulls right out. Just make sure you undo the one electrical connector down there. But uh, that's pretty much all you have to do to gain access to this. Now, like I said, I don't like this, this pair and reverse lockout. I just don't like it. And I think this is the OEM shifter. Uh, so what we need to do is take off this plate going around the shifter itself. Once we get that plate off, we'll be able to get this rubber boot off and we can gain access to start getting this guy out. All right, well, I just uh, destroyed this fucking dust boot. Whoops. So now, there's a pin in here that I gotta get out. Don't lose that, that would suck. And there's a washer. Grab both of those. Aha! So you're gonna end up pulling off this pin, very, very tiny, and this washer. Uh, I just destroyed the dust boot, so I don't really care about it. But after that, you just uh, you just push out the shifter mechanism, make sure it's in neutral, and the uh, the shifter should come out, and uh, your destroyed dust boot will also. Oh yeah, this is definitely OEM. So we'll hop over to the bench. I'll show you guys this one compared to the Torque Solutions one, and then we'll get the Torque Solutions one installed, and uh, keep going at it. All right. So this here is the Torque Solutions one, and this is obviously the OEM. Um, I'm guessing whoever had the car before me just put on this reverse lockout for some reason. Don't don't know why you would just change the reverse lockout. Um, but it is out of the car, and I'm oh, there's not even a bushing in this. Like Jesus, another dust boot. Oh, okay. I think I need to transfer this dust boot over though. So hold up. We made it transfer over, so it's on there. So we got the dust boot on the new Torque Solutions one. Now some of the main differences between these is going to be that angle and that length between the bottom stops. So with that, we're gonna go get this guy installed. It's gonna be the exact same process of removing this one. We're just gonna slide it into its place. We're gonna grease up this ball after it's in so that way it can move around freely. Uh, we'll get the bolt back in and then we will be good to go. Uh, so just so you guys can kind of see what was going on in here so right here we have these four bolts that uh, like hold this guy down so we needed to we needed to get that adjusted so that way we go first second third fourth fifth sixth and reverse so we can get in all gears if you don't adjust this 
then uh, you're not gonna be able to get into first or second gear. And then the other issue I was having trouble with was right down in here. So there's a little like pole guy. It's, it's like a little pin, a locking pin. Uh, and it didn't want to go back in its home. So I ended up taking out the four bolts, loosening this a little bit, so that way I was able to get a little more wiggle room out of that, uh, and we were able to get the pin back in. But with that, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get the interior of the car reassembled, and then we'll go take it out and uh, go do a point of view driving of just kinda first impressions and how it feels compared to factory. Right, you guys what is going on it is the next day um it got a little dark out last night so i didn't want to be out and about doing a pov while shooting uh, at night because you're not going to be able to see anything uh, so overall the car already feels a hundred times better from when we got it we uh like i said yesterday i tightened the e-brake cable also which really made an impact on just the, the height that brake would come up because Jesus, whoever had this car before me was really ripping that e-brake. Um, so tighten that feels a whole lot better. Uh, the brakes feel a lot better from when we put in that radium master cylinder brace. Like the, they're a lot more responsive. They're more touchy. Last night I went ahead, I ordered some pads and rotors for the BRZ uh, just because I'm pretty sure these are the factory pads and rotors that are still on the car. Uh, so that'll be exciting. We got the uh, StopTech slotted rotors and the StopTech pads. Uh, shout out to Brian at the T at T Mod Garage for uh, for hooking me up with those. So I should get those sometime next week. Uh, but overall, the short shifter, what we're all here for, it feels so much better than the factory one. It is so much shorter, so much more noticeable, and it feels tighter also. Now, like I said, we have not put in that shifter bushing quite yet, which is still something that I want to do. Uh, but I wanted to wait till we go under the car to do the gear oil, because uh, if I don't have to crawl under the car and I can get away with not doing it till, a, till another time, I would much rather do so. This car's so zippy. The BRZ is so much fun. This is just a fun car to drive. Uh, I want it to have more power though. That might be something. That might be something we do. I might fall into the... Uh, the addiction of modifying the BRZ, which, well, then we just have more than one money pit. Then we just have more than one money pit. But overall, the short shifter feels wonderful. The, sh the throws are noticeably shorter. The height of the actual gear knob hasn't changed dramatically. So it's, uh, I mean, I'd say it's about an inch shorter um, height-wise, but throw-wise, it's definitely noticeable when you're going to use it. And it just slides right into gear, no problem. Uh, it is a little noisier, but then again, I did uh, I did rip that one dust boot that we needed. So we'll see how long I can go without the dust boot. I might just reorder a replacement one, but well worth the money. Uh, this is one of the first mods that I do in the STI, the BRZ. A lot of my cars, I really want to get the driver controls just dialed in. Jeez, why is it so bright today? Every time I'm filming outside, it's always nice out. This is like a good omen. Ugh. But like I said, I really like getting those driver controls dialed in. So those brakes should help with the brake pedal feel. There's a little more drivetrain stuff that I want to do to the car to get the, uh, the drivetrain goodness to where I want it. But even downshifting, this thing feels awesome. The brakes are definitely squishy right now. Those rotors and pads have definitely seen better days, but... <laughs> it's so much fun it's just a fun zippy car uh the brakes definitely do feel better though that's awesome so glad we did that Ooh, but anyways this was just a short pov for you guys just kind of using oh god there we go just kind of using the short shifter and uh getting a feel for it so i didn't want to spend too much time out here uh but i am trying to incorporate in more of this these pov style things after we do installs to kind of talk about them a little bit but overall i highly recommend snagging yourself a short shifter whether it be for your wrx your brz your frs your sti whatever car you have it just makes it feel a whole lot better but anyways if you guys are not already subscribed to the channel and you want to be i can't look to pick a corner because i just passed a cop <laughs> so i'll put it in one of these corners don't know which one quite yet uh but go ahead, give the channel a sub if you're not already. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out, homies. Woo! Yeah, fun car.
fun little zippy car.